one two on its way. And the breaking ball got him off the plate away. Brown could not hold up. Here he goes down looking on a pitch over the outside corner. We see no time coming back to the plate. Four up, four down for coming, and that's strikeout number three. Full count for coming. The Emeralds right-hander comes home. Puts it right down the heart of the plate for a called strike three. So another one, two, three inning. After a nearly perfect three inning outing from Dylan Cumming, it'll be Nick Sinicola. Sinicola goes upstairs, gets a swing and a miss. Frozen with an off speed pitch. Second punch out for Sinicola. Swing and a miss. And he got him swinging. So Sinicola picks up his fourth punch out and he strands that runner at second base. And it is Seth Corey that will enter the ball game. High fastball, got him swinging. 92 on the radar gun. Corey to the plate, and he got him swinging. Corey delivers, and he throws him with a breaking ball. Emeralds lefty delivers, and there is a called strike three. Back toward him over the outside corner, and Whaler knew it. So the Emeralds now one out away. Dylan Rock the batter. 1-0 pitch, lifted into right field. Coming in is Bandura, and he will make the grab, and the Emeralds have done it for the second year in a row. They complete the no-hitter. Seth Corey comes out to finish it off. Mount goes to work. Uh-oh. There's a deep drive to left field, and it is way out of here, up into the second level of the left field building, and that's a grand slam, and things just got really bad. Ryan Lavastina gives the signal. Here's the pitch. And it's high in the air, deep to left field. Johnny Rodriguez will only be able to turn and watch this one go to the back of the bleachers. That pitch caught way too much of the zone, and Martinez was right on it. Here's all or nothing in one pitch. Driven out to left field. Martinez just got another one. That is absolutely hammered. Two-run home run, no doubter, off the bat of Aureldis Martinez. Two for two with two blasts, and as soon as he touches the plate, he will have given Buffalo a 3-2 lead. Omaha put five on the board in one frame. He fly to center field. Certainly deep enough to score the run. That ball is going to continue to travel, and over the batter's eye for a three-run home run for guess who? Aureldis Martinez hits his fifth home run of the series. A three-run bomb, give him four for the game. Plenty of them in the Major League landscape over the years. There's a high drive in a deep left center field. Racing back, Taylor looking up. That one's on its way, and it is gone. Daz Cameron hits it out to break the tie. Las Vegas grabs a 3-2 lead in the bottom of the fifth inning. Swung on, deep fly ball, carrying it left. This is trouble. It is gone. Long home run by Hunter Goodman. 464 feet. And Goodman continues the hot series. That's his sixth home run this year. And five have come the first five games of the series. 11 7 isotopes. Brings up Andres Chaparro. Chaparro scored twice today. He has a couple of hits. And this one he scores high and deep to left center. Going back to Yadosio, and it's gone. Second home run of the game for Andres Chaparro. A solo shot with two outs in the top of the eighth, and Reno has jumped back in front eight to seven. And the 0-2 home. In the air to shallow center field, long run in for Medina. Regio the shortstop back, he makes the catch, trips over Medina and hangs on for the out, the throwback to second, double play! Unbelievable by Regio! Josh Moylan covering the bag at second, touches it up, to double off Haskin. And Paul Skeens on the hill. And here's the windup and the payoff pitch. Strike three call, Skeens delivers. Yes, he did. The right-hander looks in, the 0-2 delivery. Oh, it's a swing and a miss. Skeens has struck out the first four batters he has faced. The payoff pitch is a swing and a miss. Skeens delivers. Swing and a miss. 0-2. Swing and a miss. Payoff pitch. On the outside corner, a call third strike. A hundred from Skeens. Eighth punch out, and he's through three shutout. Swung on and missed. The pitch change up, swung on and missed. Beautiful breaking ball there coming from Dolander. Another divine strikeout for Dolander as he has set down six in a row. Yet another divine strikeout. Seventh of the night. 
good high heat, and that is strikeout number 10. Two two delivery from the right hand. Swung on and missed. Two two delivery. Swung on and missed. And that is number 12 of the night. Facing the starting lefty Palmquist, his final line in the books, and it is a sterling one in his third start of the season. It's another perfect inning for Carson Palmquist, and that is the eighth strikeout of the night for Carson Palmquist. Carson Palmquist has struck out nine Somerset Patriots. Swings and misses at strike three. Five straight strikeouts for Carson Palmquist to polish off a career high 10. Tristan Vreeling in his third professional start and his third at double A. It's right down Main Street, a called strike three, and Vreeling's got his second strikeout of the night. His one, two. And right down the heart of the plate, called strike three. Pours in the 0-2 now. And Ritter goes down swinging. Tristan Vreeland with five hitless innings in his third career start. His 1-2. And Kokoska got tied up. Pitch low and in. He struck him out. Deals a 1-2. And takes it in there. Called strike three. Seven and two-thirds hitless innings. And the Patriots will make a call to the bullpen. Two balls, no strikes for Torrio, the pitch. Fastball, this is cranked into the air, straight away center field. Going back, Miguel Blaze, and he watches this one off the pitch clock for a two-run bomb. Jason Torrio leaves the yard. That's a hard target to hit it is. out there. And now Lynchburg takes a 10-1 lead. That one was cranked 105 off the bat. Traveled 425 feet to pretty much straightaway center. Here is Heston Kirsten. Kirsten swings, hits it high in the air, deep to left, on the track at the wall, and it is gone! His league leading ninth long ball. Is ready, his pitch is swung on and lifted high to right, tailing towards the line, and it's over the short wall in right field. Another home run for Heston Kirsted, 103 miles per hour and 10 feet past the 317 marker down the right field line. It's been slim pickings, and here's a cut and miss. Chased a slider down low and away. Four strike three, that is the three two, and he's gonna swing and miss at a changeup. And that's strikeout number six for Christian Scott. Right-hander set, two two to the plate. Fastball high, cut on and missed, it is strike three. Strikes out the side, and the Knights retired in order. One, two, three, seven strikeout for Christian Scott. He's going to end the fifth with a one, two, three, all on strikeout. And the base is now empty with the ponies up by one, Tidwell deals. Right on the inside corner and blades into double digits. Ten strikeouts. And it ends the eighth inning. Five innings, ten strikeouts, and the ponies still ahead 3-2 after seven and a half on the WNBF Rumble Ponies Radio Network. Full motion wind up, a kick. And the 2-2 pitch checks his swing. Strike three call, but side retired. Fifth strikeout for Krogh. Here's Carson Williams. Christian Franklin who made that first catch tonight. Here's a fly ball to deep left field. Bogu back at the wall, and that one's going to leave the park. Williams' second home run is a solo shot right down the left field line. Uh-oh. He drive to left on the two strike pitch and that's gone. His second home run and as many at bats. This kid is a problem in double A right now. He is seeing a balloon out there. Jace Young bats next. The pitch is smoked deep to right center field. Way back it goes and that's gone. And Toledo has their first lead three to two. Young crushes the home run to right center. Things unraveling rather quickly here for Adone in the third. After the inning began so promisingly with an impressive three-pitch strikeout. Young had had a tough series, but he belted that thing way out to right center. Extra uh, free value for fans. $5 for baseball bucks. Line drive to left center field. Oh, what a catch. Jorge laid out for it, and he made it in left center. A line drive cranked to left center field off the bat of Gunn, and Jorge in a full extension to make the catch to retire the side here at the top of the fourth inning. What a grab. You already know the power he has. Driven one, and he's going to send that one to left center field. Diving and making the play in center field is Drew Jones. Are you serious? Drew Jones making it look easy over there in center field. Leaving Yepes alone. And then Sweet has his spikes catch. He flips the ball toward the plate. Trying to get to third will be Yepes, and he's thrown out by Dingler on the craziest play you'll ever see. Lefty-lefty matchup to start off the inning. The lefty Nate Peterson fires out. 
Callahan ropes it out to right. Sparks barely moves, and it's way gone. And it's quickly 3-0 Chattanooga. Peterson delivers. Northcutt hammers it out to left. Rodriguez back on it at the warning track. At the wall, looks up, and it's back-to-back -back homers for Chattanooga. The 0-2 pitch. Hendrick loves it out to right. Sparks back on it at the warning track. At the wall, and it's three straight homers for Chattanooga. Bases loaded, two outs, tie game, two to two, bottom of the nine, two one pitch. Fabian cranks one, deep left field, back goes Frazier. We are going home! A walk off grand slam for Judd Fabian. One two, a swing and a miss on a slider down and outside. It's one two. Aponte comes up empty on a slider off the outside corner, two two pitch to Feliz. A wave and a miss on a curve ball, one two. It's swung on and missed for strike three and a curveball downstairs. 2-2, two -two. Feliz checks his swing and he went. He's down on strikes for the second time today. Perez waves and misses at a curveball for strike three. Micah Ottenbright with six strikeouts and five no-hit innings for the Threshers today. Here it goes, making five straight days. Danny Bendick goes deep with two outs and the Knights now lead it six to one. Six runs here in the fifth. Danny Menick now with eight home runs on the year. Pitch on the way, swinging a line, drive into right field. That's falling for a base hit. One run is in. Here comes Yiddy Cape. He'll score without a throw. Here's the pitch to Joe, swinging a ground ball. This is going to knock in a run. The pitcher Watkins fields it, goes to the bag himself, and beats Mack to the bag. Nice job, the old rarely seen one unassisted. Ready now, here it is. Swinging a high fly ball down the right field line. That's gone, it's a home run. It's the worst call in uh, minor league history. Nobody on the field could believe it. That, that ball flew back into fair territory. Joe Mack has hit a grand slam. Everybody just kind of stood there, including Joe Mack, assuming that one was going foul, and it landed fair. It blew back in fair territory. It's a grand slammer for Mack, his fourth hit of the game. Three top 100 prospects in all of minor league baseball. With Casey, Pete Crow Armstrong, Connor Phillips, pitch. Popped up, shallow center field, Pete Crow Armstrong. Long run in, into a slide, he caught it. Man, he is fun to watch in center field. 1-0 delivery. Line drive up the middle into center field for a base hit. Urbias scores, here comes Wins. Throw from Pete Crow Armstrong. It is perfect, it gets him, but another outfield assist from the Cubs' number one prospect. Perfect throw from Pete Crow Armstrong. And the southpaw lets it go. Devaney, it's a pop-up down the right side. Black going out, foul territory near the line. Now back into fairground. Tyler falling down. He caught it. Black made a phenomenal catch, and the Sounds win. How did Tyler Black catch that ball? Falling down with a reach, tumbling over. He held onto it. And how fitting is that? Ready, kicks the right leg, left-handers pitch. Fastball hit high in the air to deep center. Racing back is Cameron on the dead run. He's looking up, and this one is out of here. To the right of the 380 sign. Chavis hits his sixth home run of the year. Four of the six home runs have come in this series. Now the pit. Breaking ball. Fly ball to right hit well. Vosler's going to have it bounce off the fence. Here comes Pozo to slide in and score. Over to third goes Perez, and we got a tie game. Long drive to left field again. If it stays fair, it is gone. And the game is tied. Carlos Perez straightens it out. Long drive to left field. It's going. It's going. It's gone. Carlos Perez hits a game-winning walk-off three-run bomb. And the Aviators win 7-5. to five. Oh, baby. <laughs>